Our next guest uh, is someone I'm, I'm very excited to have. He is a mixologist. Uh, he has a show on the Food Network. Please welcome Tyson Bryson, everybody. <laughs> Man, it's really good to be here. I'm always glad to be in LA. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, my, I, I, you know, I got a show. I got a show on the Food Network, drinking and driving with Tyson. Bryce. And uh, I, just cruise around, I just cruise around to different places, you know, and we take a little shot of whatever they're offering, you know, special local drinks and. Uh, we get in the car, we cruise to the next place. <laughs> We're gonna do it on motorcycles if we get picked up for another year. Uh, uh, I don't want to speak out of school here, but uh, aren't there a lot of safety issues with uh, drinking and driving? Isn't that uh, illegal? Listen, man, I go full on, completely into, without a care. You were talking about Pirates 4. I'm a Kraken. <laughs> Talk about reference. What? Uh, so, so have you, has that ever gotten to you into any trouble? The, the, the drinking and driving around? Has there ever been any screws with the law? Well, you know what? I'm pretty. I'm a professional alcoholic, and uh, thank God you tune into the Food Network. You're going to see my show, Drinking and Driving with Tyson Bryson, and, and you're going to get to see me do what I do best. I get behind the wheel of an automobile after having, oh, let's say, for example, a martini tasting. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, going through about five or six different kinds of vodka and uh, maybe a dirty one at the end, if you catch what I'm meaning. And, uh, I knew you did. And, uh, and then I just, man, we rock and roll. I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I started bartending in Long Beach. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a big uh, drinking city. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, many of your drinks uh, involve absinthe, which is illegal in uh, this country. How do you obtain it? I make it myself. And how do you make absinthe? Well, uh, there's wormwood, and uh, and I use I'm I'm a little creative. I uh, I can't kind of control when the juices are there, man. So I put a little bit of uh, novocaine. Uh, I remember one batch I made had just a head of C4 because my brother's. Uh, my brother's a ranger. There was there was explosive. In the, uh, just a little bit. Better. Also, what kind of ranger? A forest ranger. <laughs> Why would a forest ranger have access to C4? Because sometimes when there's a fire, they got to they gotta, it, it, they they gotta blow up the fire. They got to blow up. Dude, man, it's like it, it takes all the oxygen out, so it kills the fire. And it, sometimes if there's a, they don't have enough time to cut down trees and dig up roots and haul this and chuck that. Man, what they got to do is they got to go in there and blow up a part of the wood. <laughs> Park Rangers who are regularly faced with the problem, man, there isn't enough time to cut down all these trees. <laughs> Aren't they trying to stop people from cutting down trees? Well, you've never been to Jollystone National Park, man. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that where Yogi Bear lives? It's up, it's, uh, uh I, don't, I don't know Yogi, man, but, uh, is he, is that like a fraternity? <laughs> no, it's, it's the famous animated bear. Who? Okay. It's, uh, uh, it's, on, uh, it's near the White Tana border. <laughs> yeah, he calls it White Tana. I don't really know where it is. I grew up with a California education, so geography is kind of. You know, <laughs> Any which. Uh, <laughs> your standard catchphrase from the show. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, Anyways. You have a couple others. Would you mind just ramming through them for us? Uh, Everybody <laughs> loves your catchphrases. There's any which. Well, give us some of your other classic trends. Uh, cobalt for Cochise. Uh, <laughs> I put a little cobalt in, uh, in some of the absinthe uh, that I made. And uh, we were pretty big at the White House. <laughs> how, did, how did you get into the, how did you get invited to the White House? I wasn't invited. <laughs> Okay, how did you get into the White House? Well, I, I made a bottle of absinthe for one of the uh, one of the computer guys who watched the perimeter, you know, so... Uh. Wait, one of the computer guys? <laughs> yeah, they, they The watched. White House just got computer guys? Yeah, they got guys, well, it's like ADT only, like, for the White House, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, uh, now, I, I don't mean to, to bring up what, what might be a sort of... And subject. the Secret Service, too, they love getting loaded. 
Because <laughs> if, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Because they're putting their life on the line for a guy that they don't really get to hang out with. And then, so when you go home from work, you go, nobody tried to kill him today, ergo me. <laughs> How am I going to get this off of my mind? Bingo! I'm going to talk to Tyson Bryce's particular brand of absenta. So do you just loiter around the White House? I mean, do you like outside? And no, I like, I get them on the show, like, as, you know, oh, dudes. Like, like, you know, they come on the show. And so, wait, okay, hold on. With me so stuff. there are, there are secret service agents, <laughs> yeah. members of the secret service who've been participating in drinking and driving with you on Tyson Bryce. With That's Tyson Bryce. Well, yeah, we put them in disguises. <laughs> like what? So I'm, I, mean, I mean, I shouldn't be telling tales out of class, but one guy, there, there was one time where it was like, is that a pirate or is that like a motorcycle guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are those beer, costumes really similar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's Klingon, too. Klingon? Yeah, I don't know about that Star Wars stuff, but a Klingon looks a lot like a uh, whatever I just said. Sure. <laughs> uh, now, I know you, you have a new drink you're promoting. Yeah. And you actually brought the ingredients, can I, can I read Yeah, yeah, out? please. It's By the way, this was the only drink uh, glass you had. I don't know if you can see this from the audience. This is a Sex in the City 2. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we went to the premiere there in New York City. We were uh, driving around and went to uh, O'Sally's Bar, and uh, that was right around the corner from... And then, like, the, the, the Metro Cosmopolitan. Uh, which is a bar, it's kind of a swank place, and I, I, I felt a little out of place, but you know what, I, I groove right in any place I go, groove right in is another place. Oh, that's another one, people are right in. So, uh, this one is, uh, this, this is, it's called the Apocalypse Cocktail, and, uh... Does this cocktail not movie. come out until October 21st? Uh, you know what? I made this before May 21st, and dude, that guy was wrong! <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> so what is this you're pouring right now? This is the apocalypse. I want you to take a little sip of that. Tell me what it is, please. Uh, that, that's a mixture of, uh, Celsa Blue. Uh, it's, got little, it's got some vodka in it. It's got a Molotov cocktail in it. Just a little that's, that can't be possible, because a Molotov cocktail is a... It's a bottle with a rag in it and gasoline in the bottle. How could any of that be in here? Is there just gasoline in it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a hint of a... Uh, I mixed up a Shirley Temple. So try it. <laughs> just a hint of... So you made a whole Shirley Temple and then just... Yeah. I, it's, okay, fine, man. It's Hanson Strawberry Soda. What do you want? <laughs> I can't get on your show and give away all my signals. No, I don't understand. So I'll... Uh, hopefully this does not kill me. No promises. <laughs> oh, it has a soapy taste. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very soapy taste. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's the wrong one. <laughs> well, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's totally, totally... Whatever, it's fine. Alright, so you can the rest of that. Alright. Uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> that is the apocalypse. <laughs> I forgot. Hit the cascade. Now this one... <laughs> what is this? This one I've been working on for a while. Oh, it seems to be leaking, <laughs> leaking a little bit. It seems a lot. to be coming out a little bit. Uh, that's all right, man. It's so it's so good. I can't wait to get out of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... Oh, wow. That This was so delicious. I so what is, what is this? This you don't need a lot of. <laughs> well, I didn't need a lot of Tell me what this is first. There's it's, no way I'm drinking it's it. It's the don't need a lot of. What is it? In Italian. Give me three of the four ingredients. Uh, this has a little bit of yellow number five. <laughs> uh, uh, it's been aged in a maritime uh, board from, uh, from a ship called the... Anastasia or the Anatoga or something like that. They brought this up. I got a little bit of the splinter aged, probably about that big, aged it in there. There's a splinter in here? There, it was aged in there. There's no splinter in it because I sipped. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. It's about, it's about, That's one of your classic wrist shots.
there's a yeah. Oh yeah, the wrist shot. Tune in, man. You gotta see it because the wrist shot is delightful. You know how usually people put salt on your and you know the lime and the, you put the shot on your hand. You know. and then you add a little bit of salt. So there's also there's also a pinch of uh, two hundred fifty dollars no a five hundred dollar bottle of Jack Daniels. That's just a pinch. The rest of the stuff is my, I don't want to give away everything, but there's also just a hint of WD-40. Give it a shot. I think, uh, all right, I will, I will have just a little bit. You gotta you try it, stuff. baby! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was really good. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Your teeth are whiter now. <laughs> oh, it's like that. Well, I will definitely, oh, I'm going for it. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Tyson Bryson, you have been a delight. It's uh, been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Bryson, stick around for a couple